Hello my very most beautiful Aquarius. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your August bonus reading. And this reading is going to be all about the person on your mind. So whoever you're thinking about Aquarius, that is who this reading is intended for. Now it is still a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. But if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. And for the next couple days, personals are still on sale. They are recorded video readings, two questions for $15, four questions for $30, or Zoom readings for $50. And everything you guys will need to know about scheduling is in the description box. You can also follow me over on Patreon now. I do additional readings over there, spiritual growth, personal development, money and career, as well as love readings. And there's a link in the description box below. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding from my very most beautiful Aquarius. Please, may the messages that need to be heard the very most, please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Aquarius' energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what is going on for you. It was all about what I wanted. I have so much to say. Friends, I miss you. And past life at the bottom of the deck. I do feel like this is somebody that you have a very intense soul connection with, okay? Like, just a very, very intense connection. I also feel... I also feel like this person is recognizing where maybe they have been a little bit selfish within this connection. And honestly, it still, still feels a little bit selfish to me, but we're going to have to get into it and see. I do feel like this person could be coming back in wanting to be friends with you is what this feeling is feeling like to me because they miss you. You know, once again, it is kind of about what they want. They want to they come back into your life and have you in their life on their terms as friends um, because they're missing you, because you guys have a connection and they're missing that. But not really thinking too much about what you want or how it's affecting you. But let's go ahead and take a look and see. We're going to look at their head space, their heart space, their true intentions, and their actions moving forward. Tell me about this person's headspace. What's going on in their thoughts when it comes to Aquarius? Got the hangman. The nine of wands. Queen of wands. So they still feel a very strong, a, a strong pull towards you. Like a, you guys have a very magnetic attraction here. A very like strong chemistry, a strong bond here, especially with that queen of wands. And the thing is, is the queen of wands is holding on to um, the sunflower. And sunflowers in the tarot are symbolic of wool our happiness. So it's holding on to what makes them happy. And I do, I feel like that's what they're thinking of. They're thinking about how they're going through some things. They're having a hard time and they're thinking about how you make them happy. You know, and that's what they want to hold on to. The nine of wands, I, I do feel like this person doesn't want to quite let go of the connection that you guys share. The thing is, it does seem like they do want it on their terms though. The hangman here would say that you guys have been very stagnant. Maybe you guys haven't been in communication, you know, and they're not ready. You know, they don't like that. That being said, I don't see anything here of them making any changes, but let's go ahead and see. Show me what's going on in this person's feelings. What are their feelings when it comes to Aquarius? The Seven of Pentacles. The Tower. And the Nine of Cups. I think that this person likes how much you support them. I'm going to be honest with you. It does kind of feel like this person is missing you. They want you in their life, but they want you in their life on their terms. Okay. And I'm not, I'm not pulling your energy today. We're just taking a look at theirs. But, you know, I would, I would say that that's been an issue is I feel like you don't get what you need out of the connection. It's always about what they want, especially with that card coming up. It's all about what I wanted. I think it still is kind of about what they want. They're in the, in this energy. They're not really too worried about what you want here. Um, but you have the Seven of Pentacles. They could have been waiting to hear from you or waiting to decide whether they wanted to reach out, trying to decide how much they want, how much 
time, effort, and energy they want to invest into this, right? Um, the tower, I feel like this person is going through a lot. I feel like there could have been also some, some kind of falling out that has happened between the two of you. And especially if you guys have been in no communication since whatever that is, whether that was like an argument, a spat, or something like that here, uh, I feel like they've been waiting for you, almost expecting you to be the one to reach out, okay? That's what that feels like to me. And, and I feel like they're missing your support. I'm really drawn to all the cups that are surrounding them. And sometimes I can see that as our, like as our support, right? So this person's like, it's about what they want. They want to feel good. They want to feel content and satisfied. And they miss the support that you provide them. I feel like they could be going through a lot in their life. And, you know, they've been waiting for you to reach out. And you haven't. And it's almost like this energy of how dare you. Tell me about this for Well, let's see. Let's let's take a look at their true intentions. What are their true intentions? Got the eight of cups. Two of wands. And the page of wands. Some of you guys could have told this person that you're leaving this behind, that you're done. I think that's something that's on their minds. And, and the thing is, is I think they they still want to be friends despite what you said. Okay, well, fine, you don't you you're done with this, but do you sure you don't want to still be friends? I feel like they're still trying to decide whether they should reach out or not. Um because I do feel like for a lot of you guys with this energy, you know, some of you guys have made a decision to try to put this behind you. Some of you guys have made a decision to try to move on and that's something that they're aware of. You know, I feel like for a lot of you guys have said that to them. Sometimes the page of wands can be be or oh my goodness. Sometimes the page of wands can be being on the receiving end of a or of a message, you know, I feel like that was a message that some of you guys have received. Like some of you guys have said to them, you know what, I'm done with this. Uh, some of you guys could have just pulled back your energy, really withdrawn with that. I do feel like they plan on reaching out, but they still, like I said, they want things on their terms. You know, they're not ready to step out of um, outside of any comfort zones. I feel like this has been difficult for you. So I do feel like they plan on reaching out. Uh, you know, they just want things on their terms, though. What is this? The temperance card. Yeah, they could be trying to make peace with you, reaching out, wanting to make peace here. Okay. They were trying to be patient and wait for you to reach out, but I don't think you have. What actions will this person be taking? Got the moon card. The nine of pentacles. The six of wands. And the eight of wands. So I definitely see them reaching out, but like I said, they're going to reach out and tell you, you know, I miss you, I miss our friendship, I miss the, you know, I miss being able to talk, but they don't have any intentions of giving you any more than that. So if you want something more than that with this person, um, you know, this is feeling very one-sided. They're, they don't know how you're going to respond, but they don't plan on changing their energy of being single here. You know, I don't, I think you're only going to get so much from this person, but I still feel like they're going to reach out. They are kind of gay. And they're still kind of fairly confident that they're, you're going to respond in the way that they want you to uh, with that six of wands energy. They're still for, they're still fairly confident in that. And despite any, you know, anything that's happened. And I feel like it's because they, they do know how you feel about them. You know, they do know how you feel about them. And I feel like for some of you guys, this is something you guys have been dealing with for a while. I feel like you've invested a lot into this. But only you guys get to decide what's best for you to do. I do feel like you're going to hear from this person. Absolutely, they're missing you. They're missing the connection that you guys had. They're going to come in and want to be friends with you or try to, you know, have you in their life on their terms. But that is what I have for you guys. If this resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that will be in the description box below for you guys. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, guys, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, you can put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I'm sending so much love and light. Until next time.